Hull City are unchanged for the seventh consecutive match, a contributing factor to their recent success. There are one or two connections with the Liverpool team. Ken Demange began his career in England there. Richard Jobson was at Watford with John Barnes. And Billy Askew has played with Peter Beardsley at Newcastle and with John Aldridge and Ray Houghton at Oxford. Keith Edwards goes into this round as the leading scorer in the FA Cup with 18 goals. He should have had to give best to Ian Rush, whose total is 22, but because of a knee injury, the Welsh international is not included in Kenny Dalglish's lineup. But Gary Gillespie is. He comes back after missing 23 games after a knee operation. The referee comes from Kendall in Cumbria. And curiously, it's exactly 84 years to the day since these two teams first met. And that's which Liverpool, who now attack the goal to our right, won by six goals to two. City have never managed a victory against Liverpool. Here's Gary Gillespie, good to see him back. There's some speculation that uh, Alex Watson would be included in Kenny Dalglish's lineup, but in fact, uh, Kenny has put him on the bench alongside Steve Staunton. Billy Askew. ground which once held 55,000 people but these days restricted to 20,000. Askew and Houghton, acrobatics from Gareth Roberts. Ian Hesford, the man in goal for Hull, and taken over from Tony Norman in December. Went to uh, Sunderland and uh, Billy Whitehurst came with the goalkeeper to start a new career at Hull. Demange. McMahon. Two ahead, but nobody wide. Now John Barnes comes forward. Well played by Gillespie, that was very difficult. Bounce could have embarrassed him hugely, but it didn't. Beardsley, John Aldridge is up ahead. Houghton coming square. Barnes had the other way, but it was in the end comfortable for Neil Buckley. Whitehurst. Liverpool player down at the other end. And here's Edwards. Ray Houghton who came back and they're not too happy on the Liverpool bench the play was allowed to continue Gillespie who's down and there was a hole in the centre of the defence shin bone is the problem it would seem you see the player there prostrate and Edwards able to get through and good play by Ray Houghton problem that kept him out, Gillespie, it's to be the back of the calf, and he's at the shin bone, certainly low down, nothing a manager can do about situations like this except to make the decision as to whether the player stays or goes and he would uh, accept the view of the physiotherapist. Watson will have to wait. Gillespie is to continue. Lola hobbling his way into the uh, edge of the six-yard area. Askew takes the corner. Grobelar goes for it, doesn't make it. And it was Buckley who came up and didn't get enough of it. A very good corner over Grobola, 
Buckley is number six. They just couldn't get it on target. 